use the graph of y equals f of x to graph the function g of x. So g of x here is equal to f of x plus 1, parentheses plus 1. So whenever you add or subtract um, to the x, it's backwards. So if you add 1, it's left 1. If it was minus 1, it would be right. So it's opposite. So whenever you see x, it's opposite. And then when you add 1 to the entire function value, to your entire function, you go up 1. So we're taking this graph, and we're going left 1 and up 1. So it looks like the answer should be B, right? Because we're going, whoops, 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 nope, C. Yeah, left 1, up 1. That looks like the best choice. Let's try it. And yep, that's the answer. So again, uh, whenever you add to the x, it's backwards. So for example, if it had been f of x minus 3 minus 7, well, when you subtract from the 3, it's backwards, so it's right 3. And then when you subtract from the entire function value, it's down, so down 7.